After setting up the main structure of your site, you probably have some custom post types with custom fields and taxonomies. In our example, we have a directory site about gyms and trainers and we set up some custom types for it. And here is a single trainer post in the backend. Besides the post title and main content, we have a few custom fields we created. We even have a relationship set up between trainers and gyms and you can see at which gyms this trainer works at. Now, let's look at this post on the front end. Well, okay, it definitely needs some work. And actually, this is the default output that teams show for custom posts. There's only the main content, while all our custom fields are missing. And here's how we want our single trainer post to look like when we're done. For this, we need to create only one template and it will automatically be applied to all posts of that post type. If later, you tweak anything in your template, the changes will be applied to all your posts automatically. Finally, we will now create a content template and it's called like that because we will be designing the content part of our single posts. Everything else like the header, menu, title, sidebar and footer are coming from the team itself. Ok, let's do it! In the WordPress admin, go to the Toolset dashboard page and click to create a content template for your post type. In our case, it's personal trainers. An empty template is automatically created for you and you are now in the block editor where you design everything using blocks. Use the right sidebar to tweak different options for the selected element. First, I will add a toolset container block. It allows you to easily group blocks. Here, my team has a dark background, so I will use my container to display all the elements on a white one instead. And under additional styles, I'll add some padding. Ok, let's start displaying some content. I want to display a trainer photo coming from a custom field. The toolset image block allows you to display images coming from dynamic sources like custom fields, so I insert the toolset image block. Yes, I want to use a dynamic source which means I will display an image coming from the post I am viewing right now. <laughs> nice, it's there! But who is it? What's the trainer's name? In my site, trainer's name is saved in the post title, so that's what I need to display next. I insert the toolset heading block because it allows me to enable the dynamic source option and display content coming from a post field, custom field or taxonomy. Here, I select the post type. Cool! At the moment, my elements take the whole width of the page, but we can display things side by side. For this, we use the built-in WordPress columns block. Let's insert it above our current element. There are different column layouts you can choose from. Let's select the one with two equal columns. And now, we can simply drag and drop our blocks into these columns. That's pretty cool! And you can even change the width of your columns. To do this, you first need to select the column you want to tweak. Here's the important part. Click the black navigation button at the top of the editor and you will see the structure of your elements and their hierarchy. Then, simply click to select the one you want to edit. I select my column and now I can tweak the width. Cool! You can even change the number of columns. For this, select the main columns block and use the right sidebar again. Ok, let's continue with displaying a rating for each trainer. I add the toolset star rating block for this. Activate the dynamic source option and select the custom field. I'll also change the main icon color in the style setting section. Next, I want to display the trainer description. This comes from the post main content, so I use the toolset single field block. I select the standard field option and choose to display the post content. And there it is! Ok, so finally, we want to display what each trainer specializes in 
and we store this information using a taxonomy. Insert the single field block and select the taxonomy option. Simple as that. Ok, that's it. Let's save our content template and see it on the front end. There it is. And here's another post, just to make sure. It looks good. And there's one more thing we want to display for our trainers, which is a list of all gyms where the trainer works at. However, for this, we need to create a custom list of posts that we call a view. I will explain this in the video about views, but here we can quickly insert an existing one. Back in the editor, I add a simple heading first, And then I insert the toolset view block and simply select an existing view I want to display. Let's save and look at it on the front end. And there you have it.